Welcome back, fellow creators, to Joel Creates. Let's talk about scooters. I like electric scooters. They're not just for little kids anymore. They're also for big ones. I got these two Razor scooters off of Craigslist a few months ago. I think I paid 30 bucks total. Why would I buy two dirt cheap, dead battery electric scooters? I've always wanted a go-kart and I thought, I'm a grown man. I should have a go-kart by now. Why don't I try and build one as cheaply as possible? The nice thing about these scooters is that we already have fairly strong steel chassis, built-in steering, built-in brakes, built-in motors, driving to a rear wheel. If these two were attached to each other, it would be a go-kart. I designed the go-kart body as well as the two steering adapters on Kanban. I then cut them out of a recycled piece of particle board. I gave the parts a quick spray coat of black paint. Here they are. I think they look pretty good. I found a 24 volt lawnmower battery on Craigslist. The batteries inside of the lawnmower battery were very similar to the ones that I found inside the scooters. These fit into the battery compartment underneath the scooter. I took out the old controller circuits. The scooter can detect whether you're moving or not, and it won't apply acceleration until you get the scooter moving yourself. In order to bypass this, I simply removed the relays themselves. I wired everything to a master junction underneath the go-kart. All that was left was to assemble the rest of the go-kart. folding seat that I got at Goodwill for like four bucks. This is some old pedal that I think I got at a thrift store. When this switch gets activated, it turns on the relays and it sends 24 volts to the motors. Just like that. Here are the two brakes, the handles made out of pipe, and the connection joint also made out of pipe. The connection makes it so that when I turn one of these, the other one turns with it and the wheels stay aligned. The look of this control system is actually kind of futuristic as opposed to just a steering wheel. It's time to test this thing out, but first, we gotta suit up. I feel the need. The need for mild acceleration. Ridiculous, we're ditching this. We'll be right back with more epic footage, but real quick, let me just talk about how the go-kart performed. My friend Graydon and I took the go-kart to a park. How fast does this go-kart actually go? Mm, this fast. The battery life was actually quite long. It had a decent amount of pep. It could turn very sharply, almost too sharply sometimes. Overall, we had a blast. Be sure and check out my friend's channel, Graydon Schwartz. He's a super talented photographer, whether it's on the ground or in the air. Let's get back to more epic shots of the go-kart in action. Thank you for watching. Consider subscribing. If you do build something like this, please be careful because I've already injured myself using it today. Be sure and check out my friend's channel, Graydon Schwartz. I'll see you next time. Say something to the camera.
Like what? That's perfect, thank you.